New video shows the moment police officers take down a suspect during last week's assault on a paramedic. Dozens of officers from across the region attended the 900 block of Pandora after police say a paramedic was kicked in the face by the person they were helping. The paramedic was sent to hospital, but now the way first responders attend calls in the area is changing. They will no longer be responding to the 900 block of Pandora unless they're accompanied by the Victoria Police Department. Vic PD still hasn't provided details on how this will work, but those who do outreach along Pandora say this change could be a matter of life or death. We need uh, paramedics to come as soon as possible and we pass on to the next level of care. Um, when it comes down to it, um, you know, people can get brain damage or even die uh, if it takes too long by a matter of seconds and minutes. Workers at Solid Outreach say they're already stretched thin and this will only further the strain. Uh, we're at capacity, I would say, 90% of the time, and our staff is already maxed out at the best of times. So if there's an overdose, we still have the same need on the block, uh, but nobody's providing um, you know, food, housing support, peer support. Cameron also says a new strategy could further erode trust between those on the street and first responders. BC's public safety minister says that this is being kept in mind as a strategy is being formed. That, that was something that they were particularly concerned about and wanted to put a fair bit of focus on. People need help and they need to uh, they need it right away. Uh, at the same time, though, we must ensure that uh, you know our, our our healthcare providers, our emergency responders, are safe when they respond to uh, respond to a call. Calls for service along Pandora have increased steadily over the years. Victoria Fire has responded to nearly 1,500 calls along 900 Pandora since 2022, with the highest number of calls at 600 last year. This year so far, they're averaging two calls per day, which has been rising. Paramedics have reported nearly 1,400 calls since April 2023. The highest number of calls in one month was 119, and they say they're averaging around four calls per day. Farnworth says it's not just the number of calls. It's what's happening of those calls that's driving this change. The nature of those calls and what happened um, also is part and part of, of, of the work that they, they've been doing, the analysis in terms of the response that's required to be able to deal with that incident. Farmworth hopes that last week's incident was a rare situation and that an increase of officers will help bring calm to the street. It's unclear if this new strategy is temporary.